Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. So my little uh, desoldering gun here, um, it stopped sucking very well and I found that the silicon tube had split. So it's actually just disintegrated there because what it does in here, it's, it goes into that little nipple there and onto this nipple here. Just on the side there of the pump, that central vacuum pump there. And so when you're sliding this back and forth like this, it's compressing this pipe. And obviously it was kinking over at that point there. And it's just failed. So it was still sucking but barely, it was just really weak, so it's also because it's sucking air in through the back here instead. Now, I knew I had some silicon tube. Do you think I can find it? I've got no idea where it is, I cannot find it. I went down to my local garage here and um, had a chat with the guy and um, he happened to have some tube here, which is not exactly right, but it's the same sizing. It looks pretty much identical size, it's a little bit stiffer. That probably won't matter, we'll see, it might just make this a bit harder to push back. But um, it took him about five minutes to find this, because he, he, he knew he had some somewhere. It's, it's a big workshop, so. So he cut that piece off for me and said, hey, take it. So, you know, didn't charge me for anything because he's a good guy. I've done him favors and he does me some returns, which is great. So, I've got some tube. So all I've got to do really is um, cut it down to the right length. So I'll probably push that fully forward, make it that length there with it fully forward. I'll probably attach it onto the end and then cut this end off actually. So I'll do that, we'll fit this and then hopefully it should be fixed again. Now this little spring here, in case you, you may have noticed that if you're observant, that actually goes inside the tube. So when it's being bent over it doesn't collapse, otherwise it was kink over, it stops it from happening. That's what the spring's for. Alright, so must have to get put that in as well. But yeah, so it's excellent. So this silicon didn't feel like particularly good quality silicon anyway. It did feel a bit, I don't know, dry. So I think it's you know, not wonderful quality silicon, which is, yeah, it's all right. But it's lasted okay, I suppose, but I guess, because I actually pulled this thing apart uh, a few months ago, I stripped it down and gave it a clean up. And I think maybe then it, when I was stripping it down, maybe I put a bit of stress on it too, and it was enough to make it go, possibly anyway. So in case you haven't seen what's inside of these things, obviously this is the S9938, this is what the inside looks like. Okay, so let's see what he sent me there. There's a little rubber boots there which seal onto the chamber, which is here. And um, there's electronics in there, there's a couple of screws. Now, I'll, a modification I've always wanted to do with this, but I haven't got around to it yet, I just haven't really been motivated enough, is to actually move the LED because it's actually on the other side of the handle. And when it's on a stand, if you're not you don't happen to be on the left hand side of the iron, you can't see the powers on. And it's very easy to leave the thing turned on, so I have to be really careful making sure I turn it off. So I actually, I want to actually move the LED and put it on the back, on the back of the handle here. But I haven't got around to that yet. It's not a big deal, but I'm just being a bit lazy, I suppose. We'll do this. We'll shove this hose on. Literally, just shove it on. Okay, so that's just pushed onto there. Push it all the way down. And that length so it needs to be set so that when it's fully forward like it is there, it's not too short to go onto this point. So if I cut it so out there, my fingernail is now, I think that's pretty close. Uh, cut it. There we go, just cut it. Cut it right there. Okay. So let's just double check that, stick it in place. Yep, yeah, that looks fine. So hopefully what happens when I push this back, it should still want to collapse somewhere. I don't actually leave it with a lot of space in there to do anything. That, it's not actually a great design that way. What I should have done is on this outlet here, which you can see that goes straight that way. They should have actually mounted this at an angle, so it's going like 45 degrees. That way when you push this back, it actually tends to make the silicon bend. Because if it's going straight, it's got nowhere to go. Right? It's really resistant. But if you put it at an angle at one end, it'll actually make it want to curve. It's a way of controlling how it does it. Anyway, it's not been done that way. Yeah, anyway. So we'll shove that spring in this one, like that. And we'll shove this onto the pump, and hopefully it all works all right. And this end's slightly bigger, interestingly, slightly bigger, but the silicon will go on, it stretches this way. It's silicon, and really good like that. 
and turn it a little bit at the same time. There we go. So I should better drop that back in. Like that, drop that back in there, that lines up. That should go back kind of, but you see how that's stretching, how that's really struggling to push back. You know, it wants to kink up like that, which is fine as long as it's actually got space to do it, but that's actually not wonderful, you know. It's not actually wonderful in that way, the way it wants to do that. But maybe that's why this is, this one's very flexible, very soft and flexible. This is obviously a bit stiffer, so it's a bit of a trade-off, I suppose, for that. Okay, let's get the scene back together. Now it's all okay. I'm not going to worry about doing that LED right now. Uh, it's I just can't be bothered again. <laughs> so I won't go worry about that. Um, it's a temptation I've had for a while, but one day I'll do it. Probably when I you know, leave it on for a day or two, something like that. So, put the tube back in, so when you find out how hard it's going to be, it's pretty stiff. Um, I need to get some like silicon lube or something, some kind of silicon lubricant, or well, a plastic lubricant, because um, you know, these rubber seals, it, it kind of forces its way over them, There's, I don't have any lubricant on them, because I don't have any, so I really need to kind of get some really, wiggle it to get it to actually sit in there. You can see, see that little line there appearing where it's actually mating up. Come on, get in. It's always a pain when I try to pull this apart, it's getting it back together again. I almost take it back off. I need to get some kind of lubricant on there, this is just ridiculous. I'll go and get some soap or something. If I can even get it back out. It's stuck on the front one now, here we go. I'll come back in a minute, I'll get some soap. So if you don't know about this little trick, you get a bit of soap on your finger, right? Soap is slippery as you know, and just stick it on the surface that need it. And it actually makes things go a lot better and it dries out so you know, it'll just disappear. Sticks on there too just to help it. And it's just obviously temporary, right? Obviously once it dries out it's a bit different, but it's a good little way of working around the problem with things binding up. You know, if you don't have a lubricant, you don't put oil on it for example, then get some soap. It works well. This will go a lot better now. There we go. That's now in. Oh, almost all in. There we go. Now it's in. Okay. So we try it out. Now I actually don't have anything here to desolder at the moment. Um, so I might have to simulate something. Hmm. Let me work on this. Okay, I've got some perf board out here. This will do fine for this. I'll just stick some solder on it and suck it back off with this. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Where's my solder? Here it is. Just get close to this camera, shall we? Could be the lamp on there like that. There you go, lamp on there. For testing only anyway. Now, is it gonna work? Let's get it so you can see, hopefully. There you go, that works. Look at that. Go on. It works. Excellent, so that's all good again. That's a winner, it's fixed. Not that hard to fix, um, as long as you obtain the right equipment, you know, obviously just a bit of silicon tube in this case. So this will hopefully serve me for a while yet. I mean, I think the only reason it actually broke is because I pulled that pump assembly out not long ago and I tried to clean all the pipes and stuff like that, and because it was a bit gunked, the filters, because it had that little tiny little filter in the back here, 
which I've changed. I've taken it out and now I've got this big filter in here instead. And um, I think it's still letting vapors and stuff through and it's gunking up the back there. So I pulled it apart and cleaned it all at the time. I think that is part of the problems that maybe when I was pulling it apart, then I maybe I stressed that pipe. You know, um, entirely possible. So I can carry on enjoying this thing. This is a fairly well. These desoldering guns are fairly expensive for the other, but this is a cheap one. If you can afford to get a desoldering gun, then I do recommend getting one or desoldering on. You know, there are good brands to buy as well, not just the cheap ones. I highly recommend you, if you can afford to get one, then you should because they do make your life a lot easier when you you know doing rig work on things, putting capacitors out, that sort of stuff. It makes your life a lot easier. Especially on ICs, trying to get ICs out. It's well worth having one of these. I highly recommend it. In fact, I might even stick a link down to in the description for where you can get one of these things. Probably one of my affiliate links or something. We'll see how we go. So thanks for watching and um, we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, and click the bell icon, that sort of stuff. And share the video if you think I might benefit from this. Catch you later.